Movies make me happy. Movies make me sing. <gasps> Movies make me take off all my clothes and touch my thing. Hey. Josh! Hey, welcome back to our stupid rags of Corbin. I'm Rick. You can follow us on Instagram, Twitter for more juicy content. Thank you for support us on Patreon. Follow us to the guns. Give a like button. But not in a movie theater. I don't take off all of my clothes and touch my thing in a movie theater. I do. Only in drive-ins. Uh, today we got a uh, best ever food review show. Yeah. Uh, but it's from his other channel. I yeah, think. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that's been great. Eating all day for $5. Cheap street food in Kolkata. Oh, my baby. Um, maybe, uh, maybe. She was contemplating from. the possibility. It's too early. Today. Of of, of getting up early because of we, we, coffee, coffee with coffee. With, yeah. However... Last night was one of the nights where we watched Clint and and they were out really, really late. She Because she stays up later than I do, I went to sleep, like, I, I was in bed at midnight. But they didn't get home till 2.45. Oh, jeez. So, here we go. But she stays up till 3 anyway. That's crazy. Yep. In this video, we're attempting to survive all day in Kolkata with oh. only $5 in our wallet. That's first, easy. Let's back up. Can't wait to get back there. India offers some of the most affordable street foods Ugh. in the world. And in Kolkata, you can find some of the cheapest street foods in India. So surviving on a tight budget in this city shouldn't be too difficult, right? <laughs> but can $5 get us through the day without going hungry? Yes. You're about to find out. Yep. <laughs> Spicy chicken and a sauce that will make your eyebrows sweat. <laughs> to these cheese filled, mind blowing pancakes that cost less than 50 cents. <laughs> Get ready for the most affordable street food eats in Kolkata. We start with the most affordable breakfast you can find anywhere. A delicious potato stew served with freshly fried bread, all for under 30 cents. I'm Irish, I love me a good stew. Savory breakfast, baby. Inflation. Same. <laughs> Kachori is a popular local street food dish consisting of two parts. The subs, which is a type of chickpea curry, and the kachori, a deep fried stuffed bread. Oh. To begin, they peeling the those potatoes with their fingers? Size. They're boiled oh, already. They're boiled, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, what the heck is going on? Next, fry ground nuts and green peas in a hot pan, along with cumin, red chili powder, and water. Now our potatoes join the party together with salt. Let everything dance together for at least 15 minutes. Fill the refined flour dough with black graham dough and shape it into small balls. Roll them out into flat discs and fry them until they pop up. Oh, that looks so good. As you take your first bite, the Kachori's crispy and golden exterior greets you with the aroma of freshly fried dough. The potato curry is oh. rich, hearty, and delicately spiced, allowing the flavors of cumin, coriander, Orgasm. and turmeric to blend on your palate. They probably couldn't handle the spice, but... Next dish is made for all you junk food lovers. Prepare to savor freshly fried chicken smothered in a zesty hot sauce that costs less than a dollar. Start with the gravy. 
in a large wok. Fry onions, green peppers, and tomatoes, a scoop of ginger garlic paste, red chili powder, and an entire bottle of chili sauce. Dang! <laughs> spices, including garam masala, sugar, daljeera, black pepper, and chicken masala. Finish with curd and let it simmer. Chicken is cut into small pieces and carefully washed. Let's move to marination. Begin with yeah, tandoori fire chicken song. masala, yeah. MSG, salt, chili sauce, red chili powder, refined wheat flour, corn flour, and a couple of eggs. Mix well and fry to perfection. That sounds like a freaking Ani track to a trailer right now. Finally, marry the chicken in the spicy sauce and serve with scallions and red onions. Dang, Doug spicy. Gorgeous. Yeah, that looks like that would destroy you. In and out. <laughs> crispy chicken bathed in a masterfully crafted gravy, exploding with subtle heat and sharp tanginess. It's like a Michael Bay movie in your <laughs> <laughs> Bates it's quite the like, picture. It's like a Michael Bay movie in your mouth. <laughs> As the sun sets in Kolkata, the narrow back alleys come alive with the scent of affordable fried food. One I want to take my girl back so bad. Star potato curry that costs less <sighs> than 50 cents. Mikadi Kachori, a flavor packed dish from northern India. It consists of two main elements a milky potato stew and crispy fried kachori. What is this, Joda Akbar? They always have the best music in their stuff, man. Start with oil heated to a super hot temperature. Add cumin, turmeric, diced potatoes, and water. Finish with buttermilk and tamarind water. That gives it its signature zest huh. and richness. Now, the second half of this dish, the kachori. Here, they make them unlike anywhere else. Start with chickpea flour dough and fill it with a mixture of green graham beans and secret spices. Shape into discs and fry. The finished kachori gets torn apart on the plate. Top it with wati amiseb, a crispy Indian snack noodle made from chickpea flour and complete with a few scoops of kadi. That looks amazing. Kachori is a perfect combination well, like 40 of cents. soft and crunchy textures. If With that, beer, I'm betting that's more like a soul nine cents. You won't soon forget. Ah, 42 hey, cents. Hey, it was pretty close. Yeah. Up next, a cheesy pancake that will melt your heart. Fill your stomach and it won't cost you an arm and a leg. This is Moon Dal Chilla, a nutritious Indian pancake made from split mung lentils. It's known for its crispy exterior and warm plush center, usually filled with vegetables and cheeses. Pour a ladle of mung bean batter on the hot griddle and spread it out. Add red onions, shredded paneer, and fresh coriander to finish. Great to oh, shredded top. paneer in there is probably amazing. With red and green chutney. Oh my goodness. That looks fantastic. Bung Dal Chilla is not just a pancake, oh. it's an artful creation. Affordable, yet decadent. It embodies the essence of Calcutta street food scene, offering a unique blend of spices, crispiness, and richness. At last, a street side stall that's been serving Calcutta. They're gonna be like $2 off of $5 after, after six meals. Years. Introducing Gugni Chat, a dish that originated in Kolkata and is overloaded with carbs. It includes yellow peas, potato patties, and crushed samosa. There's a lot of dishes in here I don't remember ever seeing prepared before. These are very unique. Next, add a homemade spice blend and water. Squeeze in some lemon, then add a white pea stew that's been cooked with cumin, mustard seeds, turmeric, and red chili powder. Mustard seeds, huh? And tamarind chutney. But, but not one fish as of yet. Bunch of bongos, if you ask me. Mustard oil is glorious. When you bake eggplant and you cook it the way my wife does with the mustard oil, the 
she she said one time we're gonna make it. We don't have the mustard oil. We'll make it with a uh, olive oil. I said no. The difference in taste is huge. Munchies, the combination of crushed samosas, potato patties, and wow. lentils make this dish even more rich than Elon Musk. <laughs> <laughs> Sixty. Wow. So our journey through Kolkata's cheapest street food comes to an end. But did we manage to go through the whole day without spending more than $5? Yes. The answer is yes. yes. From the spiced allure of subscachori to the tangy and spicy sauce of chicken chapata and the perfect combination of textures in kadi kachori to the rich heritage of guguni chaat and finally the incredible value for money of mung dao chila. Three dollars eighty cents. Meals. They're echoes of Kolkata's culinary legacy, inviting everyone to savor the city's vibrant spirit without breaking the bank. For more indulgent, oh, yeah. your senses, subscribe to Best Ever Food India. Introducing Best Ever Coffee. I've traveled all over the world. Made his own coffee. Has created nice. Great video. Uh, as always. As always. Um, yeah, those look delicious. I could eat them all right now. It. Um, that's one of the biggest things that I really two things I really wish we had here and I know Indrani feels this way that are beautiful not just in Kolkata yeah. but in India yeah is being able to just go to a, a certain a, a stall and get some chai to, yeah. to, to drink or cha if you're Bengali you go to Starbucks Same and uh, yeah no <laughs> and street food one because of the affordability and the taste and just the, the it's so beautiful but there's there's one of the things that my sweetheart misses so much is when you go out just the life and the people on the street at all times. Uh, it, it is, it's like, it's like being in New York. You just step yeah, outside yeah, and yeah. you're, you're around people and we're and Johnny and I are very much the same where if we go off into the boonies, we don't want to be there very long. We like the break, but after a while the, the silence is deafening and we want to be around life and people and activity. Uh, and and <laughs> so we we miss absolutely not. <laughs> we miss just opening up the door and stepping out into life. We often go for drives just to go down onto Hollywood Boulevard and and be around the life that's going on. But I wish we had. We do have some street like foods here. We have we have street food trucks, mostly Mexican food. Yeah, and if you go to say like the Hollywood Bowl, you're always going to pass a few people who have some stalls they've set up and they're making some hot dogs and things. There's a billion, but it's not food. like India. There's a a billion street food Mexican places. Like there's one right across the street from me. Yeah. Every night they set up. Yep. And they serve same with like, us. Um, a pastor. And they'll say it says tacos yeah, on yeah. the thing. There's a billion of but them. The, but um, they're really spread out. Yeah. You don't have the stalls and the shops along the street where you're just nonstop yeah, interacting like and seeing it. I miss that. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Anyways, great videos always. Um, let us know what other food videos we can react to <sighs> down below. Just